Music, and I'm based in New York City. And more recently, I've become the curator of sound collections at the Internet Archive in San Francisco. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we do at the Archive and how we're working with the Internet Archive as part of their Shared Libraries initiative. Um, the Archive of Contemporary Music is now 30 years old. Since 1985, whoops, sorry, um, our collection of popular mu music has grown to about 2.5 million recordings. And, oops, we're having a hard time scanning. I'm getting this to go down. Um, and basically, we, I'm trying to get one thing, first we can get there. Yep, we're not technical at all. <laughs> Uh, film, we're getting better at VHS tapes, and these VHS tapes are modern enough that there's probably rights issues, but what we do is we have our volunteers look up to see if it, there's a DVD version for sale. If it's for sale of the DVD, we don't do it. If there isn't, we do it, and it seems to work. We get a lot of exercise videos, a lot of construction videos, right? but we, we're missing the Hollywood films that are now for sale as DVDs, and fair enough. There are better versions available, they're still being hawked. Um, uh, we'll wait until they go out of business, and then we'll do it. Um, so the idea is to sort of follow along, and this uh, approach has been working great. We're also downloading and recording a lot of television. <laughs> a lot. Um, <laughs> Russian, Chinese, Japanese, Iraqi, Al Jazeera, BBC, CNN, ABC, Fox, 24 hours a day, DVD quality. 71 channels from 25 countries. And we've been making United States television news available via lending. Following on Vanderbilt Television News Archive, we allow people to search on uh, the Television News Archive and search on Snowden, see some information, uh, and only see one minute at a time. And if you want the whole program, then you borrow it as a DVD. We stamp it onto a DVD and lend it to you, and you have to return it. And the reason to be that clunky is to just be respectful of those trying to make money out of going and publishing their, um, you know, CNN.com or whatever. So the idea is we're a library, they're publishers, and we've been able to find a way of working along and making this whole thing go. We're very cost effective at doing this type of, of, of work. Um, so we now have over a million uh, moving images on the Internet Archive. We have lots and lots of television, uh, and it's working. So one last, um, a couple of last media type types to give sort of how we look view things, then, then I'll talk about physical preservation and, uh, and music. Software titles. So floppies are, are, are obsolete, um, and uh, game consoles and ROMs and things. So we've been working with communities that have been going and digitizing and, and keeping those preserved, but usually kind of in obscure formats. And we did this really fun way of, of emulating like a Microsoft DOS machine um, in, in a browser. <laughs> it's completely weird. Um, but you can go and to archive.org and click on a piece of software and it boots an old IBM PC in JavaScript in your browser and then loads a virtual floppy and you're running the program bit accurately in your browser. And it's been amazingly popular among those that, well, spent a little bit too much time playing computer games when they were young. And they're happy uh, to go and see their old computer games um, uh, back. And so it's a mechanism of doing preservation of basically a media type that's been difficult to, uh, to handle. And again, it's been working out well, but you know, sometimes we get approached by some of the manufacturers that say, look, we're still hawking Pac-Man. Um, you know, can you take it down? We say, absolutely, we just take it down. But it leaves 95% of it up, but you know, we're missing Tetris and Pong and Pac-Man. But that's okay, we'll do, we'll, we're patient, we'll wait. Um, uh, and so the idea is to just keep these, uh, these things alive. We're probably best known for crawling the World Wide Web. We've been taking a snapshot of the World Wide Web every two months since 1996. A snapshot of every web page from every website. Snapshot, 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 snapshot. It's starting to get big. <laughs> We're up to around 450 billion pages. Um, we collect about a billion pages every week. Um, it's used by about 600,000 people every day as part of the Wayback Machine. Um, this is what our uh, Yahoo looked like back in 1996. Pets.com, the little sock puppet. Um, 
mm. uh, what dorky old web design looked like. Um, all of our websites look this bad, uh, but now you can see them again uh, through the Wayback Machine. And in general, it's worked well, and it's again been a bend, not break. So if people don't want it in the Wayback Machine, we take it out of the Wayback Machine. Um, and that's just a way of, of getting a lot of materials up and out there. But as a collection, collecting together and shared collection, uh, we have made a tool that allows librarians all over the world to go and help build collections. We now have about a thousand librarians that are building curated collections to go and make them searchable and make sure they're complete in particular subject areas. It's a way of participating where everybody gets to kind of come together and make these collections. We build the indexing and crawling tools, but they can then bring their own collections home with them and we encourage them to do distributed preservation of these materials. An example of this is in Japan when the disaster happened with the tsunami and the, uh, uh, the nuclear stuff. Um, the, uh, lots of people came together to go and suggest what should be archived and we operated this, um, this collection uh, starting within a couple hours of the tsunami happening. And now these web pages that were available then are no longer available on the live web. Or they're available in the archive but no longer on the live web. But it was a collective group effort from, uh, from hundreds of people around the world to build a collection together. And Harvard then took it and munged it and used it in their classwork. So the idea is to have not only centralized and coordinated collection development, distributed preservation and distributed access tools to go and make use of these. So that's the idea of going and collecting uh, the materials. The idea is to go and if we're going to, is to preserve both physical and digital.